Hi everyone, my name is Rahul Randive and today we are going to learn how to configure or change the maintenance window in Azure SQL Manage instance. The maintenance window feature allows you to configure a maintenance schedule making plan impacts from upgrades or schedule maintenance events predictable and less descriptive for your workloads. Please note, the maintenance window feature only protects from plan impacts from upgrades or schedule maintenance. Now, first you have to check whether your Azure subscription type is eligible for the maintenance window feature. According to Microsoft document, Configuring and using maintenance window is available for offer types, pay as you go, cloud solution provider CSP, Microsoft Enterprise Agreement or Microsoft Customer Agreement. This maintenance offer restricted to dev and test users only are not eligible like pay as you go dev or test or enterprise dev and test as an example. Check the list of regions where the maintenance window for Azure Manage instance is available and here are the list you would find in the Microsoft document where it's available in those region. Now, how to configure maintenance window? Let's connect to Azure portal and go to your SQL Manage instance and under the setting, click on a maintenance. You would see maintenance window drop down where you would find three options which are system default, local time 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Monday to Thursday and local time 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Friday to Sunday. Select a preferred maintenance window from the drop down. Please note during a maintenance event Database are fully available and accessible, but some of the maintenance updates require a failover as Azure takes database offline for a short time to apply the maintenance updates. Keep in mind that changing the maintenance window is a long-term asynchronous operation that may involve automatic creation of a new virtual cluster or resizing of existing virtual cluster and may takes hours to complete. The instance remains available during the entire process, except a short reconfiguration happens at the end of the operation of configuring maintenance window and typically last seconds even in case of interrupted long running transaction. To minimize the impact of reconfiguration, consider running the operation outside the peak hours. Now, Let's go over some frequently asked questions about the maintenance window. You can find most of these questions and their answers in the maintenance window FAQ document. The most common question is, can we postpone, reschedule or cancel a planned maintenance event? Canceling or postponing an upcoming maintenance event is not supported. You may consider changing the maintenance window, for example, from weekends to weekdays. The maintenance window can be changed at any time, even multiple times per week. By moving the instance to another maintenance window, a short reconfiguration will happen at the end of the operation, but it will avoid maintenance during the announced period. Another most common question is, what is the expected impact of maintenance events? And the answer is, a maintenance event represents a period during which the updates are applied on the resource. Maintenance events happen inside the defined maintenance window. During a maintenance event, databases are fully available and accessible, but some maintenance updates require a reconfiguration as Azure swaps the primary replica from one node to another to apply the maintenance updates to that node. A reconfiguration typically lasts seconds and cause connections drop. For resiliency during reconfiguration, you should please leverage retrial logic concept. You can find all the maintenance window related questions and their answers in the maintenance window FAQ document. I hope this information is useful. Thanks for watching.